is one of the most important times of the year for area nonprofits. A big part of their annual budget comes from donations dependent upon charitable giving and those end of the tax year write offs. 12 News reporter Shannon Slatton shares more of what you need to know if you plan on making a gift before 2014. A really busy time for us. Drive through donations are the name of the game at Arks Value Village. Our entire store is stocked with stuff that the community members graciously donate to us. At this store, they count on about 175 donations on an average Saturday. By the end of December, those donations soar to more than 300 per day. We're dependent on the great donations that, that everybody gives us to uh, raise as much money as we can for our organization. Those donations go to the sales floor where the price helps support people with disabilities. I think that's what we rely on most, is just good people who have some extra to share. Hands have been busy at Second Harvest Heartland, too, with volunteer shifts full and donations coming in. This kind of year is where we get all of our funds essentially for the rest of the year's deliveries, gas, overhead to make sure that our trucks are getting those food out to the people who need. So we really depend on people this time of year. In fact, 47% of financial donations come in during the last quarter of the year. This is the time of year where so many of our neighbors are thinking of, of their other neighbors, particularly those in need. While donations in kind are appreciated, here, dollars go further. We're able to make a dollar go a long way. A dollar donated to Second Harvest Heartland allows us to distribute about eight dollars worth of food. So there's a ton of leverage uh, in what we're able to provide for our neighbors. The rules at nonprofits like these are simple. Get the donations in before 2014 and you'll get the documentation you need to claim the deduction on your taxes. But if you're thinking about a large donation, consider talking with your financial advisor to see how your money can be stretched. People oftentimes might have a highly appreciated asset like a mutual fund or a stock or a bond and they sell it, pay the taxes and then write a check to the charity. You can actually gift that highly appreciated asset directly to the charity, then you don't have to pay any capital gains taxes on your gain. Win for you, win for the charity, everybody wins with the IRS. Shannon Slatton, 12 News. And there are some other incentives to give besides a tax break. Arcs Value Village offers a coupon to donors and Wealth Enhancement Group offers a charitable donation if you come in for a financial